Hello everyone, I'm here to give you a closer look at the Oyster 56 Grateful. The Rob Humphrey Design 56 is the most popular oyster ever with over 70 built and has proven to be an ideal blue water cruiser for all others to follow. Grateful is a unique example with a rare shoal keel option and original US build spec, both highly desirable for a US based owner. She is also extremely well equipped for extended short-handed cruising with her triple hydraulic furlers, multiple electric winches, water maker, and everything else you expect to find on a yacht built to go anywhere. Here Grateful is really strutting her stuff, putting her stiff riding moment and powerful sail plan to use, sailing upwind at more than 8 knots improving her capability of making 200 mile days without even trying. And when you get there, thanks to her draft of only six foot six inches, you can enjoy beautiful remote anchorages accessible to very few boats of this size. Many recent upgrades include new sails, epoxy barrier coat, copper coat bottom, solar charging system, lithium batteries, high-speed satellite system, and new upholstery. On board now, under sail, looking aft, and then up the rig with all the North 3DI sails fully deployed. Back at the dock, we can appreciate her generous beam carried well aft, her stylish deck salon design, numerous opening portholes, hatches, and vents, and her recently varnished teak cap rails. There is in-mast hydraulic mainsail furling with a triple spreader rig that is 80 feet off the water and twin furlers for Genoa and Stasel to give maximum versatility in a variety of conditions. The wide aft deck features two built-in seats, a separate propane locker, a large lazarette locker on centerline, and two more deck lockers in the aft end of the cabin house. And through a stern gate, there is a built-in swim platform with drop-down swim ladder. Looking now at the Simpson electric dinghy davits, and above that, three new LG solar panels totaling over 1100 watts, and a Viasat high-speed satellite antenna for exceptional remote internet while underway. The Oyster 56 design provides a convenient step for easy access to the spacious and inviting cockpit, featuring full-length seating and a built-in table. The custom helm pedestal has everything within easy reach, including autopilot, remote windlass controls, bow thruster, engine controls, lighting, and VHF. Mm -hmm. 
On each side of the cockpit, there are push-button controls for the hydraulic furling Genoa and Stasol. And outboard are controls for the electric primary winches, all within easy reach of the helm. Next to the companionway is a third electric winch used for both the main sheet and outhaul, with convenient foot controls for the hydraulic end mass furling. The cockpit table opens up for quiet on deck dining or entertaining a crowd. And built into the cockpit table is a convenient large capacity DC powered drink cooler. As we first step low on Grateful, one is first impressed by the tremendous light and visibility thanks to our deck salon design first pioneered by Oyster. To port is a comfortable dining area with custom inlaid maple table that can be expanded when needed. Further outboard are storage lockers as well as an opening hull portal. To starboard there is a settee, a large storage locker, a custom glass locker above, a built-in flat screen, in an opening hull port. Further aft, the forward-facing nav station is nicely laid out with generous strut table, flush-mounted instruments, bookshelves, and main switch panels behind for her US spec electrical system. To port and aft of the salon is the walkthrough galley with double stainless sinks inboard and cabinetry behind and below. Outboard is a large top opening deep freeze with lots of cabinetry above and a four burner propane stove and oven. There's an opening hull port and two opening ports from the cockpit and cabin side for great light and ventilation. Further aft is a microwave oven, additional storage lockers, and a large vertical refrigerator. Aft and inboard is a custom dish cabinet, followed by a large pantry with slide out baskets in an ice maker below. Further aft is another large pantry locker with open shelving. From the galley, we enter the spacious full beam owner's cabin aft with large island berth and deck hatch above. There are large drawers below the berth and lots of drawers outboard to starboard, as well as a large hanging locker. There are numerous opening hull and deck ports each side, with additional cabinetry to port as well as a second full height hanging locker, and on the forward bulkhead a built-in flat screen with yet more cabinetry below. The owner's private head and shower features a wash basin, mirror, opening porthole above, vacuum flush toilet, and a separate shower stall. Now we'll walk forward from the owner's cabin through the galley in the main salon to have a look at the forward cabins. <music> to 
To port is a versatile guest cabin with a large upper and lower berth, a whole port and deck hatch for light and ventilation, and lots of storage forward, outboard, and aft. Further forward is the inviting VIP cabin with island queen berth and a large hatch above. There is cabinetry to port, including a full length mirrored hanging locker and a large storage locker below the berth. To starboard is a seat with additional storage lockers and one of the two opening hull ports. The forward guest head features a wash basin, mirror, opening hull port, a deck hatch, a vacuum flush toilet, and a separate shower stall. Lastly, the fourth cabin is midships to starboard and features a single berth and opening hull and cabin ports. This space also doubles as a useful work area with huge amounts of storage space for tools and spares. And from this fourth cabin, one can easily access the engine space through full height double doors. Without a doubt, Grateful is now ready to take her next owner's family and friends to faraway places with comfort, safety, and ease. One can now dream of sailing off into the sunset and all the adventures and beautiful destinations that lie ahead.